So thanks everyone for being here. This is our last, but I hope not the only one. I hope that we will do so more studio visits all around the world and we give you the opportunity to discover new artists, emerging one and uh, um, from Tunisia, from Libya, from all over the world, Egypt, Algeria, Lebanon and so on. So um, during the last two weeks, we had the occasion to, with Artfulness, which means art for all, to visit uh, the studio of Mejda Algeria living in France, Dora uh, from Tunisia living in France. And today we have the great, great pleasure to have a talk and studio visit, virtual visit. I will not say more about it with the Nadia Munir from Egypt. So yes, we are traveling the world because it's Egypt. It's Egypt here, you see. And um, I will not be the one to lead the visit. It will be my favorite partner. Iman is also my favorite partner. I have two favorite partners, you see. <laughs> it will be Syrian. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing like this because Syrian is just next to me, as you can see. She's really here. Artfulness is a small word about artfulness and I will just cut off my micro. Um, uh, Artfulness is an online gallery working with illustrators, painters, photographers, artists from North Africa and the Middle East. We do sell limited editions, but also original artworks. And now I'm happy we'll be selling photography and also painting. And uh, that's it, if you like it. You can subscribe on our newsletter and follow us on our Instagram and Facebook page. I will not say more about Nadia. I will let Sirin and my dearest friend Nadia talk about it. Thank you. Hello, Nadia. I'm, like, I'm so happy and excited to be moderating uh, this Yay. online event today because I today I consider Nadia not only as an artist, but also as a friend, because um, we are studying this year in, in the same program, which is uh, Tassawar Curatorial uh, Studios. It's a curator, uh, curatorial program. Uh, and uh, that's where I discovered uh, this beautiful lady. Um, I just want to give the word to Nadia to say hi and uh, tell us few words about her, then I will tell you what I know about her. Thank you so much for the nice introduction. Uh, it's really um, uh, so nice for you. And uh, yeah, it was also my luck to get to know you from Tassawar. And uh, thanks everyone for uh, for attending today. And uh, I have to say that I'm in a, in a, in a cafe. Uh, in, in the middle of Cairo, <laughs> just like the middle, <laughs> center of Cairo. Um, uh, and yeah, it's a, uh, uh, I can just shortly say why I'm in that cafe. <laughs> and sorry for any loud, but uh, my, my little daughter have a change in her, uh, we have a change in her nursery and uh, I have to stay beside her for the, until she finish and then I pick her up and go. So it's a bit like a transitional period. Uh, yeah, and um, I'm happy to share this with you. Um, but yeah, I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm a photographer and a visual artist. Um, I've studied uh, applied art in, in Cairo. Um, I mainly depend on, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I mainly depend on, um, I started it after the, after the, I finished the uh, university to uh, self-learning on exchange programs on applying on residences. Um, I truly believe in uh, in uh, uh, like school or life uh, uh, kind of a study or like a kind of education. Um, so I applied to um, I, I joined a program that's uh, in uh, Alexandria in Egypt uh, called the Mass Alexandria. It's for contemporary art, so it's an independent kind of study. It was for one year, and also that's why also that was another reason that I joined the Tassawar. Whenever I can find some of these like educational programs that um, 
in a way independent i really like enjoy uh, being part of it um yeah so that's like shortly maybe uh, i yeah maybe Sweden say like oh, what i almost forget about myself <laughs> yeah so uh, <laughs> thank you nadia for sharing uh, this with us and i i would say also that uh, what 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 is inspired me to um to contact nadia and make her part of this um uh, project which is an online exhibition with studio tours on our uh, platform Artfulness, which is an online gallery um, is that um, Nadia also um, talk about uh, her life as a woman as a mom and uh, all her artworks that you could check on her website uh, are based on uh, our daily life or even um, they talk about us as people, as individuals in the society, which is really interesting because um, sometimes we don't ask questions about uh, who we are, why we are here, are we comfortable, uh, what we, we, uh, where we really like to be or anything else. So seeing all these details from an artistic perspective is, is really wonderful. Um, and, and today, um, Nadia will be uh, presenting her, uh, her work, but also will present a, an, an artist studio of a photographer, which is a bit intriguing because it does a photographer really need to have uh, a studio or um, what is the definition the real definition of a studio for a photographer which is not uh, the same for a painter that is um, for uh, walls and um, like I don't know uh, frames full of frames so um, I want to ask you an idea uh, not as uh, not as a photographer or an established uh, um, artist, but once you decided to be a photographer when you were younger, what was uh, the image of uh, an artist studio for you? Um, <laughs> um, maybe like I, um, I started my art um, practice after graduation in 2010 and um, I didn't know I, I never thought about having a, like a real studio like um, where I work from it was mainly my room um, and then like I actually like moved with me like this that I didn't really feel the need to have like a studio until maybe like in 2016 when I joined mass and then it, mass was based on like um, um, as a, as a study program, as I said, for participants that like you are working through in studios, like um, you are building like you artistic research, you are developing a project, and then that's a, that's like um, uh, you build on a place where you meet artists, like to do like studio visits, where like you do uh, one to one uh, meetings. Uh, so that was actually like my first in contact with like uh, with a studio, um, and it was like. It was for me like just like um, a space, like an empty space, even like it's just like as a small as it is that uh, I'm in my own, uh, having some uh, 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 my own time to, to to work, to reflect, to, to develop like um, uh, on, um, on, on a project or whatever. Um, so actually like what I have prepared for to show you of my work was well, actually like I started from this point that before 2016 my uh, my studio was almost like the street being in the street and just like going back and then going back to home and then seeing what I have done what I have uh, what photographs I have shoot and take and then put it online so in a way like my studio was online uh, was a was a link that I can share with you and um, it's up to you if I could start like sharing or if you'd like to, to continue with the questions now you know uh, we will be so happy uh, that you share with us 
Okay. Um, um, I, I still cannot share my screen, so maybe beside my name and the participants, you need to, to make me co-host. Yeah. She will uh, yeah. make you co-host. Yeah. Try, try now, Nadja, or uh, share. Ah, it works. Okay, great. And I think it's really important to visualize um, what we say, because when we are in a webinar, it's not a physical meeting, so yeah. it, it would be great to see what we are talking about. Yeah, yeah. And also, uh, you, uh, you mentioned that your perspective before 2016 is not the same after. So, uh, does that experience really um, affected or uh, changed your personal as a photographer? Was it was it a positive experience? What, what are the results? Um, sorry, uh, Sabine. Yeah, sorry, Sabine. If you can again, like, can you see it now, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, uh, if you can uh, kindly repeat your last question. Uh, um, I said that uh, the perspective, your perspective for, for um, a studio as a photographer wasn't the same uh, before 2016 and after 2016. So yeah. what, what mainly changed? And um, it, 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 does it change for the best? Or uh, does it have negative sides or something? Um, no, so be, be, before mass, uh, um, I was mainly like, uh, um, um, I mean, my work was like more into practice. Like, so I was really um, like here, like these photos. I was just like with my camera on the streets, but not like on a purpose. Like I'm, I'm not a photojournalist at the end. I'm not a documentary. But like in a moment, I feel that okay, it's uh, on my way from uh, from home to um, to a workshop, uh, to a meeting, to to whatever I'm going to. Like I have my camera on, and it's always like on. So I, I actually like started to snap um, images. Or, or, um, sorry, I have to. Uh, how can I? <laughs> so yeah, so. Um, Mm, okay, maybe I uh, open it on the other way. Then. Sorry for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um. Okay, it's a, uh, okay. You, you can see it now, right? Yes. Uh, oh, you can see the same image, right? Okay. Yeah, so, um, it's not moving because of the sharing. I have to open it. My, okay. It's moving now, right? Yeah, we see uh, another picture. Wait. Yeah. So, um, I, Yanni, that's the thing that I really didn't need it. Like it's a, it was with my camera uh, on the street, and the, my 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 practice was really very uh, initiative and um, uh, momentary in a way. Um, what I found, I shot, and I was really into like the ideas like related to strolling the city, uh, moving around, like losing my way, and just like snapping what I I found uh, 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 in between. Um, I don't know. It's it's just so like you don't so really. Uh, yeah, it's it's moving. Hmm. So you don't really decide once you are on the street what are you gonna uh, what are the pictures that you're gonna take or the places you will shoot. No, not at all. Like with all this um, uh, amount of photos that I took, it was actually like. Um, it's continuous like what i found i stopped at and like usually I, I would get like some comments like um what should we look at your photos like there's nothing really specific and like i actually like like that in a way like that so there's nothing specific that you look at but like for this like with this billboard like 
it's only because I had my camera at that moment that I found it and then I shoot it. So, yani people call it like a street photography in a way. Um, I was just like trying to make um, connections to where I go, like to the roads that I go through the city, like, uh, or maybe like to draw uh, an image of the city that I'm going on. Because as I was saying, it was like, I take images like on the way from my home to the workshop. And if this workshop lasts for a month, so I would take actually like images for the same places, for the same routes, and I would see like how it gets like difference mm. by time. Uh, so that was mainly like the, the thing or like um, how places just like change. So yeah, it's like as a practice, they usually like categorize it as like street photography. But for me, it was, um, it was a practice to discover like where I am, where I am from, from Cairo. And then it moved outside Cairo, like to be moving outside. So this was, for, was from uh, Siwa, like an oasis on like the uh, uh, west side of uh, like with a west desert um, so, and then i grow i grow some uh, actually like some um, um, uh, interest like in the in, in in the statics that people create in the public spaces so it moved i moved from like the the general general like uh, judgment on the photos that it's a street photography that it's fandom street photography into like what the statics people create in the public daily um, sphere or like um, Contest. So I go to their own places. I would like, I would actually like um, see where they work. What what do they? How do they, they decorate their places? How do what places do they spend most of their days in? Uh, so this was like a collection from like the imaginary landscapes that people like to create their spaces in. Um, yeah, and then yeah. So that was like um, I yeah I ended here because I just wanna. Uh, uh, like just yeah, you can go on. Yeah, please go on. I remember once we, uh, I, I was talking with uh, Nadia about uh, spaces and uh, the fact that you really care about uh, the matter of time when it comes to places that you, you will be photographing maybe the same place for a month and you will see what is going to change and also uh, why are we here? So as individuals, why are we decorating our homes or our workspace on that way? Uh, which is really important because uh, when it comes to places um, and when it comes to decoration, it is a reflection of each person. And yeah. uh, and um, so it's, it's really related to uh, a psychology, the psychology, but not the psychology for uh, individuals, but sometimes for a whole cu culture or for a whole society. Because when you go to the street and you see like most of the um, most of the shops uh, do the same, like it's not the same, but um, it's it's really um, it's pretty the same decoration. And you will say, okay, that um, so it's it's not it's not really um, the influence of each person' uh, characteristics or uh, background or anything, but it's more into um, society influence. What does the society want or need or uh, yeah? Yeah, and yeah, it. Yeah, so, sorry for interrupting. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can go on and then I will. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Go, go, go. Okay, yeah. Um, so, so speaking of my studio, actually, like this was my studio, like this, like this page that I call it as a Cairo snaps, or so like the photos moved out outside Cairo. But this was my, my, my studio. I would just like go back home at the end of the day, put on like move the photos from my camera on the laptop, and then I just like mainly like I think I did no edits I just like uploaded and that was like starting from maybe 2012 if I go through all the images it was starts from 2012 that was like my daily practice I put images and then comes the question like what is this photo like if I add a caption where and when but I actually like decided that it's known it's just like as if that's why I, I call it like my own first online studio that I just put photos together and see how do they react beside each other like, mm. 
you know, like without saying any caption, I just like add a photo on a daily basis in a way. Um, and like together they make just like, you know, like they make a conversation, like as a, as a visual conversation between, between like you said, like between different places, different people, like between me and the spaces itself. Okay, um, so it's really yeah. open to interpretation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's why I would have received some questions like, uh, what should I look at? <laughs> there is nothing really specific about the photo, like, and this, but I was actually like, interested in this. I was interested to show like how people react, the presence in the city on a daily basis, but also sometimes places that nothing really was happening, but it's just like part of our daily like uh, uh, daily life. So some photos you find that there's something like really uh, yani, like boom in the photo, but sometimes like nothing was really happening. Like yani, yani, sorry okay. if I'm, Passing, um, like, um, and then I also like um, I think I also like challenge my presence as a as a woman in the street, like like here with with this taxi driver that I really like, like the ceiling of his taxi that's like full of like fur, and then I just asked him for a photo, just like a photo, and sometimes my 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 uh, 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 to ask him of a photo like. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it comes just by holding the camera in, in, in his face. And then I say, can I take it? Can I snap it? You know, like it's also like even with, uh, with me, with like the, the big issue of like harassment in the streets of Cairo. And so if someone actually like, I used to go to do this, like if someone actually like just harass me in a way or like saying some things I wouldn't accept, I just raise my camera in front of his face. Okay. So it was in a way, uh, that was like my main practice, like until maybe let's say 2015 or 17, yeah, in the latest year. Okay, and why you don't um, edit your photos then? Um, I think it didn't need it because it was not about like being um, an art uh, photography or like just like some, uh, uh, a, a beautiful like composition so it was like different it was for me like just a momentary uh, so uh, there was actually like nothing really happening and and even i didn't care about the cropping you know like if you if someone like uh, so much into like photography and composition and, 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 and those like guidelines you, you feel like i just like give it my back because what i see and like it's just like a moment i see and i want to like, just like keep it like this um, and maybe it adds something, like it adds something like here was like everything that's happening with the presence of the child, like and one like that's crying and sleeping, and then it's like just like people in action in a way. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, are people? Uh, what what the reaction of the people that you were taking photos of them? Because most of those photos are in public spaces. Um, usually it's, um, okay, I don't know, okay, that's, it comes again. So usually it was actually like nice. You know? It was just a few times that I was, um, maybe I want to pass those. Uh, um, I think it was just a few times that I was actually like refused. Um, but yeah, like they were almost like uh, open, but that was before, like, I mean, that was maybe like, um, I have to say that this practice and being like uh, comfortable with moving in the street started after the uh, uprising in the, uh, 2011. And then people were actually like open to, you know, uh, open to photography. Uh, but later this changed. So maybe that's like after, maybe after 2014, it, uh, it actually like started to change. And I, was, I started like to be not really comfortable using um, uh, the camera or having the camera in the street like there was a lot of propaganda about like who takes a photo where where did it go and like in the, mm. the TV, like on the state tv and so so it really made like a very tension relationship between people and like um and photographers okay. um, yeah so still speaking about space and moving between spaces i i want to i want to talk with you more about um the artworks that are uh, included in this online exhibition was yeah, that, that really you because 
uh, because you said it's uh, people were uh, comfortable with taking photos of them in the public space, but uh, now moving to um, moving to the project, if you can share with us the, the photos of the project, um, does it really uh, uh, the same was uh, like the same for a private space? Even if uh, we talk about the same person, but moving from a public space to a private space, maybe change the conditions of taking photos or- uh, Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, please so, go on, yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is the project included in our uh, online exhibition. Was that really you? It's, it's mainly about the identity and the existence of an individual in the space okay. and the behavior also and acting in different spaces. Um, yeah, so so as I said, like it was uh, it was already like a transition. Like so, um, I was born in Cairo and I I, I lived in Cairo like <laughs> my whole life until like 2015, uh, when it was like really uh, a change in um, in politics since the time and like in the, after the uprising and a lot was really happening. And then that's when I started actually like to lose um, to lose the passion I I um, I had in. Um, I had with the Cairo snaps, and then I almost like stopped these facts. Um, and then just like I joined mass and with mass, I moved actually to Alexandria. So it's like, just like, okay, I said, okay, it's enough with Cairo now. Like I need some, something like different. So, so the work that I'm showing at your, um, at Art for Mass is actually, I came in the transition. Like it came in a transition moment when I, I had my enough, I was really like maybe full with taking of images like that was, uh, Cairo snaps is, uh, is 1000 plus photos um, and that was like just like the peak of Instagram where you are actually like, consuming images all the time so at the moment I feel like halas okay that's enough <laughs> enough with photos like maybe like we have to look back to uh, to all the photos that was done like to to what we have taken before and then that's the work that I'm showing that was actually like um, looking back to um, to, to the archive like and then with mass and with like developing a project and like with um, uh, a bit getting used to artistic research like in a way I changed my facts and um, I changed this momentary like uh, style that I I had and uh, yeah I was back or I had started like a studio life where I look back to images I start to collect so this was like my just like personal archive uh, of photos like mobile photos or like just like the very early digital kind of photos and I started okay. like in a way we, we work it um, so I so the, the main like the main topic was like just looking back to the uh, to, to images I was really interested to see what make an image like public what make an image like private and the difference between both and how and image can really move. make an image public or private yeah what moves uh, what moves them much from the privacy like that you cannot share it with everyone on on facebook or whatsapp and like into to, to the public and then it just like was a was a main questions related to to me to uh, uh, to being a woman like uh, being a muslim woman and um, uh, what do i with my family albums with like the, the new version of family albums that's like just on, on on our mobiles and computers everywhere so this is where i started and then um, with the research I discovered like those like kind of photos on the internet it's, uh, it's on uh, you can find it like on forums for, for women uh, yeah. stuff and yeah and uh, I just found like those women that's her name is Om Tatu uh, who's just like we can read Arabic and uh, she's actually like she's a digital editor she works on images online to upload it before uploading it on this like uh, women forum she works them like in a way to, to cover like their skin, as you can see here, like in this pattern, to cover like yeah. their skin or like their face in a way. And as much as like those photos were like, for me, like at first, like really stunning. And uh, for some, it might look very violent, but like for her, it's just like um, covering their uh, identity. Like it just like to cover like the, maybe because of her religious um, background, um, 
or maybe like a tradition, like I cannot really answer, but yeah, for mostly it will look as it's, uh, it's too revealing. So that's why she covered it. But away from being that violent, it just creates um, a very different aesthetics to me that was just like new, something that was outside the art form that I have been uh, uh, yani, um, used to. Outside, you mean aesthetically? Yeah, aesthetically, it's just, just like, it's, uh, it's moving in a very different form, like, uh, with artists, like, um, that's like violent, like, to cover, like, the face or so, but she's just like, the way she uses, like, the, the star brush, or, like, she uses some color for, like, here in this pink, she uses, like, a very, yeah, she chooses, like, her brush with the color, and actually, yeah. like, a, uh, it would match the dress or yeah in a way dress. it's matching yeah yeah and then i was brought uh, by research to to the, to the expression of like uh, aesthetics of censorship and then that was actually like i mean the main point i moved from to i moved to where how can i move my images again back to this photo from it being like a private like that was like in a, in a women party, like henna, just like the day before the wedding day. How can I just move it from being that um, uh, closed to the circle, to, to, to be circulated on the women that's like only attending the party, okay, to everyone. Maybe by hide, hiding the identity, by hiding the skin, as you have seen, like the, the ones that's like I'm showing in, uh, uh, in the exhibition. So, okay. you know, like, so, so the, so these photos or like this series of works became like in the transition between when I left the street, I, I, I wanted like a studio, I wanted like to work with my, um, in a way with my hands. So it's all like digitally, but like I, I used like, I started like to print, to do like cuts, to do like some collage and to act myself. So I, I would see some photos of like women dancing and then we staged it again. So that's mm -hmm. where I started, like, actually, like, my, my interest started to see to be, like, in the digital staging, and, like, in, in, in our performativity, in our bodies, in our bodies online and offline, and the difference between them. And then the photos were almost all the day, like, the, uh, uh, my tool, my material or art forums that I use to show the work. So these were, like, just, like, you know, like, those two photos on the, on the foreground as from, as from my are from my Cairo Snaps collection. But then I started to read it differently. So I asked like so I asked like friends to share with me their photos that they want don't want to show their identity in. And then I started to see like what how can I create a statics resembling omutatu like to, to make something different, like to bus or like to, to go through with the image into the public. Okay. Uh, so you manipulated um, these uh, pictures to create your kind of censorship in a way. Yeah. And exactly. you, start, uh, you start discovering uh, this word, uh, world of uh, not only censorship, but moving from a public place, which is carry snaps for years, and it was, to uh, a very private photos from uh, private parties, such as henna or uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I, I would say, um, does uh, does people uh, does the the actions and the reactions of the people in different spaces, uh, public and private spaces, um, is it the main subject for you, or just the existence independently from? Uh, which kind of space, you know? Um, I would say, yeah, yeah. I'd say that's like, uh, if one day I'm, uh, I decided to, to, <laughs> to expand my, uh, my academic studies, like with a master's or like an, uh, with a PhD, I, I would say that this will be like my main uh, topic, my, my main thing that I have really spent uh, time on it, like just by practice. Um, but yeah, but uh, at the moment, um, I don't know, like, um, I couldn't really read what I have been saying, like, maybe until, like, the last year, I was, I, when I was still, like, working on the project, because it moved into, like, it moved into different stages, so I started it since 2016 and, like, 17, 
moving until the 19th when I just like make the, the, the most of production in, in one of the residences I was in. And that was just like before the COVID uh, situation. And then maybe like I spent the, uh, that year of 2020, like just reflecting and maybe like trying to see where is my practice going to? And like, what is the connection between what I have been doing and what I have done and what's like coming? So, um, so yeah, like in general, like, um, like the public and private sphere is like really um, maybe like my main issue. Um, it's very connecting to me. I have my 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 private uh, my private life, my private sphere, and like my comfort zone. And then I also like I have the public one. So um, yeah, so that was my yeah. I would say this is my, my main topic. But um, I don't know if uh, what's what's going on yet. <laughs> Okay, and uh, today in 2021, are you uh, still interested in working on this kind of subject? Or um, because for me, the, these kind of subjects are really related to, to the society and to the culture. So it's a kind of activism. So do you qualify yourself as an engaged artist? Um... Yeah, 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 in a way, um, you know, like uh, speaking of the software and what's next, like I was just like, uh, yeah, today I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna apply for um, uh, for another like also like one year program that's uh, um, um, a school or collective of free university in Cairo. That's it's not free university, but like a, a kind of institute, yeah, uh, for free education. Uh, uh, kind of, and it's uh, mainly the one year program is just like for women studies, um, um, uh, yeah, in, in, in a way, and like women's theory studies uh, and the feminist movement. Um, so maybe I actually like thought that um, I need this, I need to see like what I have done, like from uh, from my inner voice, but I need actually like a reflection on like on the on the history and what's what what we have, on, on what we have as a as a collective of women, like I needed like to be in a way, not academic, but also like theoretical. Um, so maybe that's what what I'm gonna uh, do. But for the project for was that we do you, um, I think I just like, I gave it a lot of, um, in the last, in 2019, like with, the, like with the date of this work, that was like, as I said, when I just like produced most of the work and made the research like into practice in a way, um, and it was actually like also like a turn in the a turn like a turnaround in the project when I um, just like when I start, stopped more like using or like um, looking into the archive of other women and just like I actually like I went back to myself and like I intensively like um, projected all the research into myself like in a way that I wanted myself to be physically like it's 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 just me like you know like who am I to be speaking of like other women's photos of like the state of women through, through photography uh, or like the representation of women. So in a way, actually, like I just uh, put all the, put all the uh, uh, collection of materials that I have worked on in front of me, like in the studio again. And then I just like reflected myself in it in a way like to be present, like physically in the photos. Um, so in a way, yeah, I don't know if I have answered. I don't know if I answered your question. Well, uh, I just like go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, you, you answered know, like... mine, and you also uh, okay. answered the part of Wendy's um, question. She said, uh, "Do you ever take photographs uh, of yourself?" Yeah. <laughs> You know, like I feel sometimes that okay, I'm I'm doing a lot of stuff and all the work that's there. But you know, like um, I I just said that I went back to self portrait because that was my practice before 2010, before the uprising. Like I wouldn't have the courage and I wouldn't see like actually like the need to go and like make photos in the street. And I remember just like the first day, I really remember the first day with a camera in in downtown Cairo, where I looked to everything and I just see nothing. Nothing is interesting. <laughs> Okay. But you know, like back to my room, I just used to make like very art kind of uh, self portraits, like very artistic, like you know, like just like as if it was a painting. 
And then I left that and I saw like, no, that's like really out of date now. Like, this is not my thing. And, but I actually like to turn it back to it. Like maybe almost by, after nine years, I went back to, to take photos of myself again in my studio, in my room, I would say. Okay. Uh, maybe so um, it's, a, it's a circular process. You started by yourself, then, by, uh, then public space, yeah. then private space. And then you are back to your uh, to yourself. Yeah. Uh, maybe I don't know uh, why. Let's let's say to see the changes also because you're interested in time, or um, or because it's a safe place for you. Um, that's really a very nice question, Sue. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of me, like. Um, um, I think it's um, it might be actually like a comfort zone that I go back to myself, but it's also um, it's also I think like um, Brecht and Gart have become like really very complicated to uh, that um, that I saw that maybe like maybe like as an artist like the world it doesn't really need my theory on on whatever I'm doing on. But maybe it just like need me physically to be in. Like maybe we need just like to to to, to engage with each other like in a in a in a more weird way. Um, so so that's why I just said like, yani maybe like I just stop this up looking into the work into like for this project into like women like and the way and like because I also like fall in the, in some like. Uh, like black holes related to the history of uh, of Arab women, of Egyptian women, like, and it makes like very very complicated stuff on me that I lost the the point of why I'm doing this. I, I lost it actually, like, and I I, I was brought to um, a very interesting discussion, but it's what was not my my main thing. Like very interesting discussions about the about uh, as I was saying the uh, uh, who I am to speak to to represent others. So. I just put this all aside and I said, okay, like maybe like to, to put it on myself, it can be more realistic, more engaging to people, more real in a way. Okay. So I, uh, I don't know if it was like uh, clear. My yeah. answer was clear. It, 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 was, it was really clear. It's kind of self reflection as an artist. Yeah. Mm. You see the relation between your audience and yourself. What kind of relation do you want to have really? And, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised that we kept talking for 46 minutes. Wow. <laughs> like the okay, event yeah. was for 40, 45 minutes, but like yeah, okay. we are really into it. So we didn't, uh, uh, so the time. So um, I, I don't know what to say, but I'm, I'm really happy. Yeah, um, yeah, me too. I'm really yeah. happy to uh, to discover all these details about you, your work, <laughs> and this part of the circular process because you said that every part is a transi transition between each every project. So I think uh, also our our life cycle as um, as a person or for you as an artist is also a transition. So we were. Um, so, so you are research, searching and researching about uh, who you were, who you are, and who you want to be, to become, really. Um, thank you, Nadia. It's, thank it you, Inayk. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah, so, yani, Fanon, the pleasure is mine. I'm sorry for the noise. It's uh, just no, like, you know, okay. it's mid of the day. So all, everyone is coming now. <laughs> yeah. But, and, uh, yeah, thank you for, for your... Uh, for coming today like it really means a lot to me like uh, and thanks Ines and Serene like for for encouraging me like to do it and for giving like the good work and like for it's it was really like a very very interesting like and very nice and close to my heart does your uh, I'm sorry for the noise and um, final question so now after uh, 40 seven minutes of uh, discussion, you consider your laptop as your studio today? 
<laughs> yeah, definitely. I <laughs> can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, this cafe, like, you know, like with this cafe also, like, it just. <laughs> okay, a photograph don't need a studio, really. That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think she mean. I think she was really, really uh, waiting to place this uh, question. Do you consider this laptop as your studio? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Because for us, as um, like, uh, we represent the audience. It, it really, it always intrigues us to say what, what, how it looks like an artist studio, and then. We've always been in studios for um, like visual, not, not visual arts, but all like painters mainly. And we say like paint everywhere, frames, and, but for a photograph or uh, for, um, I don't know, um, a videograph, uh, how it looks like. But finally today, it's mainly your laptop. So you, as a photograph, you could be an artist anywhere, anytime. <laughs> And yeah, and yeah, yeah. Big, you know, like like a big advent advantage. Yeah, you know, like I just experienced this this meaning or like this feeling when I when I see my 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 little daughter. Like uh, I ask her that okay, like shortly I will just like send an email or like do something, and she didn't. She don't really understand. Like like maybe like with her father that have like um, a full job now, uh, a full time job that he moves outside. He goes. To the work and then he comes back by the end of the day but for her uh, she just like saw me sometimes on the laptop like which i usually like i find my best that she didn't <laughs> because it's not gonna work but she for her um uh, mama's working on uh, on the laptop like most of the time <laughs> yeah. thank you again uh, dear nadia really really uh, I was just going to say that um, it is just the beginning. We hope we will be working on a big new project about photography. I want to thank all of you, really. We had just a small visitor here. That's why maybe you have seen my, my mm -hmm. laptop shaking. It is uh, Sydney, the dog of uh, Cyril, who came, here, who came here by. He went to say, hello, I'm here too. <laughs> but, I think when he has seen that we are all together, he just concentrated. He went, okay, no one wants to play with me. He's just shy. Yeah, <laughs> he's a shy dog as it seems. So thanks all of you. Thanks you really for being here. This is our last but not least, I hope. No, it's not, no, no, it's, not, it's our last for today. And we hope not last for all our adventure with Art for Nets. We will be organizing more studio visits. Um, going with this flow of movement, of uh, advancing all together. Uh, we invite you, thank you Beatrice for your encouragement. Thank you also, and thanks all of you, Iman, Wendy, um, but I, I will not uh, claim all of them. <laughs> but yeah, Hanan, Reem, Salma, Kinza, all, all of you to be here. We will send you soon an email with the link to the replace replace not to link with, to the replay um there will be french subtitles for yeah. this one share them with your friends and english subtitles for the two others one thank you very much thank you netia for your um, just to be here just to thank go you. with the flow with us and uh, that's it thanks everyone see you soon thank you Take care I, I, was your preparing, daughter, uh, I was preparing a very short like um like salut in, in, in French at first, but then I just like, I forgot it all. But, uh, merci pour votre uh, assisté. <laughs> I'm learning French. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Okay. Uh, see you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. bye.